WWE's Payback is live tomorrow from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Here are my predictions. Guys, before we get into the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and put the bell on for all notifications that are the Mr. Tesh Wrestling Channel. Now, on to the video. I apologize in advance. I am very, very sick right now, so I'm going to try and get through this video as fast as I can. First match of the night, Becky Lynch versus Trish Stratus in a steel cage match. I hope this is the go-away match of this feud. It has dragged on all summer. The thank you, Trish, is getting a little bit overdone now, and I really feel after Monday Night Raw, what Zoe Stark and Becky were able to put together, I think there's a better feud there, or putting Becky back into the title picture. Becky's one of the greatest to ever Ever do it of this generation I can't wait to see what happens with her after this feud is all said and done with that being said Becky Lynch is my choice to win the cage match staying with the ladies Raquel Rodriguez versus Rhea bloody Ripley of the judgment day for the women's world championship I cannot remember the last time Rhea actually defended her women's world title on a televised show so this feud with Raquel runs all the way back to NXT they had a friendship there and a really good feud there so I'm not doubting that this is going to be a fantastic match like don't get me wrong it's just I think we need more to this build the bum knee of Raquel pretty much has been all we've seen and then Rhea just squashing every other mid card female for the better part of six to eight weeks so I think this match is going to easily go to Rhea Ripley but I I don't believe this feud is anywhere near finished. So, Rhea Ripley. Rey Mysterio versus Austin Theory for the United States Championship. Wow, this match is kind of out of left field because I thought there was going to be more done with Santos Escobar leading into this match. Um, I don't believe Rey Mysterio is going to hold this title very long. I don't see Austin Theory getting this victory and then getting a real push because his last US title run was super lackluster unless they're going to build a feud with Santos Escobar. What I do see though is Santos getting involved in the match and from there kind of costing Austin Theory the match but Ray not wanting to win in that way and a little bicker back and forth. So I'm going to say Ray Mysterio wins this match but there's going to be a feud starting to build with Santos Escobar. LA Knight versus The Miz. Arguably one of the best built feuds going into Payback that we have seen next to Seth Rollins and Shinsuke Nakamura. The Miz and LA Knight have been killing it on on the mic some really good near shoot promos that people are super over with they are trending all over social media I really like what they've done with LA Knight and The Miz with this being a straight up singles match I don't understand really how either guy can lose this The Miz is coming in hot but you don't want to see Miz just get buried in the feud to be over LA Knight just came off a massive victory at SummerSlam he is white hot with the crowd so LA Knight can't arguably lose this match so I'm gonna say and I'm gonna go with a cop-out cheap answer on this this ends in either a no decision or a disqualification truly believe that Miz gets himself disqualified LA Knight kind of still wins but Miz still walks out looking strong so I'm gonna go this ends in a DQ next we have Cody Rhodes and Grayson Waller on the Waller effect which I think this is just gonna turn into a match against Cody and Grayson makes no sense or John Cena is gonna come out and do some random stuff this is a honestly a pointless part of the entire show they need to utilize both of these potentially all three of these characters better I don't know what to expect so there's no prediction on that Kevin Owens Sami Zayn versus the Judgment Days Finn Balor and Damian Priest listen guys nobody is going to argue that Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens have had one of the greatest tag team runs of all time because really since Wrestlemania they've not done much Kevin Owens has been struggling with injuries and Sami Zayn has basically been a singles competitor carrying the tag titles for a couple of months but this I think is either going to be a complete rebuild of their title run running into potentially Survivor Series in 2024, or this is going to be just putting more gold on Finn Balor and Damian Priest. And I really like the idea of Judgment Day holding all the gold. Do I see it happening? No. What I do see happening is JD McDonough getting involved again, but this time Rhea Ripley seeing the value in what McDonough is trying to do. And I see Damian Priest shortly after getting kicked out of the Judgment Day. So this is going to be Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn with a 1-2-3 victory. Shinsuke Nakamura versus Seth freaking Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship. This build and this feud is amazing. The prone, injured Seth Rollins with the new 
dark, vicious Shinsuke Nakamura that we have needed since he debuted in WWE. Nakamura's promos have been some of the best I have ever seen, and the vignettes are even better. I love the darkness. It gives me Death Note vibes if anybody here are anime fans, but Nakamura's promos are giving me real Death Note vibes, and I love it, and Seth is coming back with emotion. Good baby face work, but he still feels like a tweener to me. But this is a prediction video, and my prediction is that Seth Rollins does come out with the victory in this match, but I say it's by the skin of its teeth. With the actual injury to Seth's back, I don't know if he's going to end up going all the way to Survivor Series, or maybe going all the way to the Royal Rumble, or I don't know if he's going all the way to WrestleMania and dropping the title there. With that being said, depending on how this all plays out, Seth Rollins drops the title right now. He goes away. He gets his back fixed. He de he comes back at the Royal Rumble and goes to the main event at WrestleMania versus Roman and Cody Rhodes. There's a prediction for you. So what I've got for this match is Seth freaking Rollins, but... It could go either way. Guys, let me know in the comments what your predictions are. Guys, do not forget, I will be live for Payback on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash MrTesh. Link will be in the description below. And like always, make sure you like, subscribe, and put the bell on for all notifications that are in the Mr. Tesh Wrestling channel. Be good people.